My name is Cindy Malloy. I am the mother of a 23-year-old daughter with autism and some fairly significant communication and behavior issues. The idea came from a lot of different places. Um, it just sort of coalesced in the last year or so. Um, I think like many parents of children um, and adults now with disabilities, uh, the question, the big question of what will happen to her when we're not here, where will she live every time we do her my plan and we envision where she will be, that always came up. The only thing that really made sense to me was a cooperative, uh, a place that is designed for people who want to live in a community. We started thinking about Uptown um, last fall because Shannon started uh, at the Impact Innovation Program at the University of Cincinnati. That was a brand new program. It has by far been the best situation we have found for her as an adult. Um, it's got great support systems, but she is challenged every day. We want to be able to provide a place where someone can live and work and get around because transportation is such a huge problem. And all of that is available right here around the University of Cincinnati. When my husband and I look at the future and what's going to happen, um, we know she can't live with us forever because we're not going to live forever. We would like to be able to move her more towards being a part of a community while we're still here to do that. With her autism and her communication issues, she's a very experiential learner. It takes her a long time to learn to feel comfortable in a situation. If we can get into a situation where she has her own apartment, but we live in the same cooperative of maybe 40 or 50 units, um, then the other people in the cooperative would become as much a part of her life as we are. Then we can begin to fade out with, and she wouldn't be as nearly dependent on us. Um, and those people would be as much a part of her life as we currently are. There are some fantastic places being built around the country, but they are very disability specific. And um, I think looking broader Rather than trying to bring a community around the people with the disabilities, we just create a community. And some of those people in there will have disabilities. Some of those people will be economically disadvantaged. Some of them will not be disadvantaged. They will come in with a lot of social capital. And the concept of housing cooperatives is that you can bridge social capital. We're trying to create a situation where it doesn't take as much paid residential support for her to be successful. No matter how successful we are, the number of units, it's not gonna do anything to meet the, the growing need for residential options for people with disabilities. So it's gonna take a whole lot of people doing sort of the same thing to make it happen across our region and, and elsewhere.